I'd like to show you how to set up a template to do a daily reflection or a daily journal within Reflect. Having a template and something to call on each morning or evening when you do it is really, really essential for building the habit. Because if you have to type everything out from scratch, that adds a decent amount of friction and you probably won't do it every single day. And using this structure is so easy. I, I really think it turns into something that you look forward to each morning. And it's become a really important morning ritual for me. So what I'm going to show you how to do is sit down at your notes, type slash, daily reflection, and have a template pull up ready for you to fill in any day. And I'm going to walk you through the template that I use. You can obviously use whatever template here that you want to. If you're trying to build a daily journaling or daily reflection habit, I would recommend starting with this because I think this one that I use is quite excellent. I've pulled it in from a couple different sources that I don't even remember anymore. I think a lot of people use this. And I'm going to pull up in a split pane here, this linked note at the top called daily reflection, because what I do here on this note is I outline the structure that I'm using. And I have this noted for February of 2023, because that's when I shifted the structure. So my exercise, I start with a reframing. I write down something that's causing me stress, anxiety, or discomfort. I reframe that thought in a positive light. And then I describe how the best version of myself would handle the situation. Second category with gratitude, I write down three to five things that I'm thankful for each morning. That is a pretty simple one. I think a lot of people do. And then I finish it off with a top goal of the day and an affirmation of what kind of person I want to be. So you start to memorize this almost immediately, but I do think it's nice to have in this linked note, the actual template. And then what else is kind of nice down here is you see at the bottom, I have all of these background notes from days that I've done daily reflections. So you can see that I do it almost every single day. I've lost a little bit of consistency here, I guess, but I do it a lot. It's very consistent and you can see the whole list and I can go back and click into any day and any reflection, which I'm not going to do on this video because these are my actual reflections and I have no idea what I said on any given day, but I'll kind of click into this empty one that's from today. You can see how it will appear. You can just click on the drop down and see what your reflection was. All right. So to set this up, I'll close out of this slip pane here. You're going to want to go to your settings. So click on your graph name and go to preferences. And I'm already here, but under preferences, there's this tab templates. And so here I have a couple different reflections. So my daily reflection is what you've just seen here. I type in the template in the exact format that I want to appear in my daily notes, because when you hit the slash and type in the template name, this is what's going to appear. As you can see that I also have this for a monthly and I think I've got a weekly one. Yeah, down here too. These all match roughly the same format. I just do it on different time frames, depending on whether it's daily, monthly, and I switch it up a little bit for the year. So then, as you can see, you could just come into a day, type this and just start typing. So reframing, maybe I am interviewing for a job or something, and I'm nervous about an interview. So I'm going to say today I have a job interview that I'm nervous for. I feel like the stakes are high and I'm not sure if I'm going to do very well. I would reframe that in a positive light that I'm very qualified and excited for the job and they'd be lucky to have me and then see how the best person handle it. I'll say I'll go into it with confidence, not worrying about the outcome and knowing that if it's meant to be, it's going to work out well. That was kind of a cheesy, oversimplified example, but you can kind of see how it works there. And then I will go through and just write some things that I'm thankful for in the morning. Maybe I got a good night of sleep. Maybe there's some particular things happening in the day that I'm looking forward to, whatever you're feeling. And then again, the top priority and the aspiration the top priority is pretty self-explanatory, depending on whatever you're going to be doing in a day and an aspiration going back to the interview example, maybe my aspiration that I'm a wonderful candidate for whatever job I'm applying for. Again, that wasn't a great example, but you can kind of see how it works. And similarly, if it's a Sunday night, I might type in my weekly reflection template. If it the first of the month, and I will do my monthly reflection template and all of those work the same way. So you can go in and change whatever format you want, but I do highly recommend setting this up as a template. If you do a daily reflection, it makes it infinitely easier.